Into the Light is just around a corner, which means we're getting returned weapons with brand new perks. And if you are like me, unsure on which rows to get and which ones could be god row worthy, I'll be going over every single of those PvE weapons that you should get. Now, because I am still learning all the perks and how to combine them in the best way, I actually got a ton of help by my moderator Phil, who is actually quite the expert in this. With that being said, Phil has combined some juicy rows for us on each of these weapons, and just because we tell you that those are god rows, doesn't mean that you have to go for them because you could totally have your own opinion on what your kind of god row is. Now before we talk about those juicy weapons, I have three more things to mention. The perks in the third column and fourth column are going to be enhanceable. The limited edition weapons with the gold glow on it are going to have multiple perk selections in the third and the fourth column. And for the third thing, all the weapons are going to have a brand new origin trait which is called Indomitability, which means final blows grant grenade energy when you're playing with a light subclass or it can give you melee energy when you're playing with a dark subclass. Now remember these are for PvE only, I'm going to make a separate video to talk about all the weapons and their PvP god roles. So let's start with Forbearance. The go-to role is going to be Demo and Chain Reaction. Now Demo gives you 10% grenade energy on kills, and when you're throwing a grenade, it actually reloads your weapon. Not only that, but Chain Reaction has very big AoE damage, which makes Add Clear really good. A good alternative for the fourth column is going to be One For All, which means you will need to hit at least three enemies to proc an extra damage buff. Then the next two perks are going to be alternatives in the third column, which is Ambitious Assassin. Whenever you get one kill, you'll get two shots in the mag when you reload, and if you get enough kills, you may even get three in the mag. And for the other perk is going to be Unrelenting. This is more if you're looking for something more survivability-like, because if you get three kills, it actually gives you some of your health back. Next, we have the Sniper Rifle Succession, which the go-to role is going to be Reconstruction and Vorpal. Now, Reconstruction auto-reloads in the background and doubles the mag with ammo, and Vorpal has a 15% buff damage against bosses, mini-bosses, and vehicles, making it really good against bosses. Now I have two alternative perks, one in the third column is Lead from Gold which gives you ammo when you're picking up heavy ammo on the ground, and in the fourth column we have Firing Line which does 20% extra damage when you have teammates around you, but you do need uh, teammates for that one. Next weapon is Falling Guillotine, which is actually a Vortex Frame Sword, which means it actually does less damage than an Adaptive Frame, however, you can use this one to zoom quite a lot if you're into like the Eager Edge zooming. Now the go-to role for Falling Guillotine is going to be Eager Edge and Frenzy. Eager Edge meaning you can obviously zoom around and launch very far, and Frenzy actually gives you 100 reload and handling when you're in combat for at least least 12 seconds. However, you could also use Relentless instead of Frenzy. With Relentless, you'll actually get ammo back, and by that I mean every three power hits refunds one ammo. If you'd like to use a sword for more damage-wise, then I would recommend Frenzy and Bait and Switch. Obviously, Frenzy gives you the 100 reload, 100 handling if you're in combat for at least 12 seconds, and Bait and Switch, you actually have a boost in damage if you do damage with all other weapons first and then switching over to your sword. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you're going against a boss and there's a ton of ads spawning all around you, you can actually use the combo of Frenzy and Surrounded. Surrounded Surrounded is really good because it can give you an increased damage when you're surrounded by a lot of enemies. And there is one more combo that you could use, or one more perk, I would say, which is Chain Reaction. If you're wanting a sword that does more of an ad clear job than like boss damage, you can use Chain Reaction, which is really good for ad clear because it does a ton of AoE damage. The next weapon is Recluse, which is the SMG. The go-to weapon is going to be Master of Arms and Enlightened Action. Master of Arms gives 15% damage buff for 7 seconds and any kill can proc this perk. Enlightened Action gives you faster and better reload and handling by just hitting your bullets. If you're ever in a situation with a lot of enemies, 
then you can also use Surrounded, which gives you a damage buff of 40%, or if you have the perk Enhanced, 47% when you're surrounded by enemies. Then there's this other perk called Frenzy, which is really good when you're surrounded by a lot of enemies. Frenzy gives you 100 reload and handling when you're in combat for 12 seconds, hence why I say a lot of enemies, because you do have to be in combat for it to proc. Now I have Desperate Measures perk on the list because it could be good, but we don't really know for sure until we test it out, so just keep that one in mind. Now for the recluse going back to the third column, there are some alternatives that you can use, like subsistence. Subsistence is used more for in like the low level kind of content, because this refunds ammo to mag when you're getting kills, so you kind of have to get a lot of kills very quickly. Now if you're really into like different kinds of builds and combinations, you can use Repulsor Brace. With Repulsor Brace, it goes very well with a combo of Girl Falcons or Destabilizing Rounds, because when you get kills on debuffed adds, it gives you HP and a Void Overshield. Next, we have the Mountaintop, which is actually a micro missile frame, and the go to roll is auto loading and Vorpal. Auto loading obviously reloads when switching to another weapon, and Vorpal, which gives you an increased damage by 15% constantly against bosses. Then I also have some 4th column alternative perks, for example Frenzy, which gives 100 reload and handling from being in combat, which is really good for the extra stats. Then we have Harmony, which gives 20% damage buff but requires a kill from another weapon, could be a really good combo with Recluse. Then I also have Recombination, kills with other weapons gives one stack for this weapon and each stack increases damage. Then lastly I have one for all, because it has a 100 blast radius it's easier to proc it, which does 35% more damage after hitting 3 enemies. Now going back to the third column alternative perks, we have Overflow, which is really good if you're looking for an ammo perk. Running past special ammo auto reloads and gives two in the magazine. I also have Demo, which is good to get your grenade energy back, along with the origin trade, sounds like a really good combo. Our next weapon on the list is Hammerhead, with a god row of Rampage and Killing Tally. Rampage getting kills increases damage, and Killing Tally getting kills gives damage buff until you reload or switch to a different weapon, which makes this perk combo really good for damage. Or you could also use Onslaught, which means getting final blows gives increased rate of fire. You could also use Rewind Rounds, refills ammo into mag depending on how many hits you put into the enemy. Fourth times the charm is another alternative, which means getting precision hits returns ammo into the mag. And lastly, we have Desperate Measures, which we still have to test out once the weapons are actually out, but keep that one in mind. Next on my list, we have Blast Furnace, which the go-to role is going to be Kinetic Tremors and Frenzy. Kinetic Tremors basically means you're hitting an X amount of shots, and that is going to proc an AoE damaging shockwave at a target. Then for Frenzy, just being in combat gives you 15% damage boost, 100 reload and handling, which seems like a really good combo. Now on to our alternative perks, there's going to be Firefly, which means headshots do explosions and give faster reload. There's also Shoot to Loot, if you're into wanting to grab ammo and orbs from a very far distance, you can just shoot them with your weapon. And there's also, again, Desperate Measures, which needs to be tested to see how good it is. Next, we have the Edge Transit Grenade Launcher, which the go-to role is Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch. Envious Assassin means to have an entire reserve in the mag, and Bait and Switch, you have to do damage with all your other weapons first, switch to your heavy, and it will have a massive damage boost. Then in the third column, you could also use Cascade Point if you're wanting to shoot faster because that increases your rate of fire. And you could also use Chain Reaction if you're wanting to use your Edge Transit for more ad clear because that does massive AoE damage. 
Then I have one alternative in the fourth column, which is Explosive Flight. Picking up an orb gives you better radius and damage, which complements Chain Reaction very well. Next, we have Luna's Hal, which is actually a 180 hand cannon, but it keeps the 140 damage and rate of fire, which is very interesting. For this one, the go-to role is Heal Clip and Magnificent Hal. Heal Clip can be very good because after you get in kill, you can instantly reload, which gives you 60 HP and your teammates 30 HP, and it also procs Ember of Benevolence. Mac Howl gives you super bullets as long as you're getting precision kills. Now I have an alternative combo which is Slide Shot and Mag Howl. Slide Shot gives you increased range and reloads your weapon, which means that Mag Howl technically needs a manual reload for those super bullets to activate. However, Slide Shot doesn't count as a manual reload, so you can use that to keep reloading your weapon, get as many precision kills as you can get, so then you can get a bunch of those super bullets. And of course, in the fourth column, I have an alternative perk, which is incandescent, and that means killing enemies spread scorch. Up next on the list, we have the Midnight Coop, and the go to role is going to be Firefly and Frenzy. Firefly means that headshots do explosions, and that gives you a faster reload. Frenzy, being in combat, gives 100 reload and handling and a damage buff. Now, instead of Firefly, you could also use Explosive Payload. For Explosive Payload, the bullets don't have damage fall off and flinches enemy and does increased damage in PvE. Or, you could also use an alternative of Shoot to Loot if you're trying to shoot that ammo or the orbs from a very far distance to instantly have it on you. If you're wanting to branch out a little bit further, in the fourth column you could also use Kinetic Tremors along with Explosive Payload. Kinetic damage to any enemy creates a shockwave to nearby enemies. And then again, we also have Desperate Measures, which we need more testing to see if it's going to be good or not. Next, we have another variation of the Hung Jury. For Hung Jury, I would go for Kinetic Tremors and Explosive Payload. Kinetic Tremors doing damage to an enemy creates Shockwave to nearby enemies, and the Explosive Payload does an explosion on impact. And again, if you're trying to use this in like a GM or something, shoot to loot is very good, especially if you're trying to collect ammo and orbs from a very far distance. Our last brave weapon before I talk about the exotic weapons is Elsie's Rifle, which is more good in PvP than PvE, but I still have some good perks for you. Now the god role you'll want to have is Rewind Rounds and Frenzy. Rewind Rounds refills ammo into the mag depending on how many hits you put in the enemy, and Frenzy, being in combat, gives you 15% damage boost, 100 reload, and handling. Now I have some alternative. In the third column, you could also use Repulsor Brace, which is used in a really good combo of Gurfalcons or Destabilizing Rounds, because when you get kills on Void debuffed adds, it gives you a HP and avoid overshield. Or in the fourth column, you could also use the stabilizing rounds, which means that kills makes nearby enemies volatile, which like I said, really good with Repulsor Brace. Or again, we have desperate measures, however, need to do testing to see how good it is. Next, we have our two final weapons, which are Whisper of the Worm and Outbreak Perfected. For the Whisper of the Worm, you'll want to go for Field Prep, which gives more ammo to the reserves, and if you ever miss a shot, just crouch to reload. And for the Outbreak Perfected, you'll want to go for either Rapid Hit or Rewind Rounds. Rapid Hit means getting headshots increases stability and reload, and shooting a tankier add will proc it to times 5 which means max reload. And lastly, we have Rewind Rounds, which isn't 100% sure yet because we'll have to test it out, but if it works, it's going to be massive. For this one, depending on how many hits you hit the boss, will refund 60% of that number. So if you hit 10 shots, it will refund you 6 bullets. So where I'm getting at is the nanites. If the nanites count with the rewind rounds, that means you may even get double or even triple the amount of hits towards the enemy, which means you may never have to reload. Again, these are all the weapon rolls that Phil has come up with and combined for God Roll Worthy. Obviously, everyone has their own luck rolls, but for anyone not familiar with the perks like me, 
I hope this helps a lot. Please don't forget to leave a like because it would help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching.